Uh, Colts at Texans, another spot that we're going to take a little bit of time with. Colts just two and four on the road, coming off being shut out. Texans turning into a juggernaut, five and one at home, but have won nine straight games. Open Texans minus three and a half, now minus four and a half. Couple fives on the boards now. Total open at 51 and a half, and it dropped quickly, mostly 49s. Heritage hanging at 48 and a half. Bookmaker hanging at 48. Jaguars completely shut down the Colts' offense. Luck 33 of 52, 248 yards, and a pick. He was sacked three times, Donnie. How long have we been talking about yeah. this offensive line protecting Luck? Now he was sacked three times. Colts entered with the fourth most points in the league, averaging 34.6, and then get shut out luck had thrown three or more touchdown passes in eight straight games colts finished 0 for 3 on fourth down couple questions in the coaching spot here three of those all of those were in field goal range in a 6-0 loss indy finished with 265 yards just 5 of 18 on third down hilton eight catches 77 yards stopped marlon mack nothing eight for 27 yards and now they have more injuries they're starting center left in the fourth quarter it forced Josh Andrews, their third team center to come into the game. They're already without Ryan Kelly. They're at, so sorry, they're sorry. They're back of Evan Bohm. He was out. Then safety, Mike Mitchell with a calf injury. Sky Moore with a knee also left the game. So we'll have to find the, uh, throughout the week whether these guys are going to be coming back. Houston Texans playing good football. Just won 29-13, made it look very easy. Deshaun Watson threw a touchdown pass. The Texans intercepted Baker Mayfield three times. Lamar Miller, 103 yards. Hopkins, seven catches for 91 yards. They did lose Kendall Lamb, their offensive tackle, to a concussion. We'll have to find out what's going on with him. But this Texans team seems like they are rolling. Adam Frendo Combo says, Colts, I got at five and a half today. What are you thinking here, Donnie? Colts to Texans. Yeah, it's interesting. You want to see how some of these injuries do play out, but I always still like to, you know, buy low, sell high type of scenarios. The Houston Texans are playing really good football. I mean, that was a nice matchup for them last week to get that rookie quarterback, Baker Mayfield, on the road, and they really took that Cleveland team apart. Now you're going to get a team with the Indianapolis Colts. There's still a lot of play for for the Colts. You know, maybe they can't win the division, but maybe they can sneak up and still grab a wild card, that second wild card spot there in the AFC. That was a tough loss for them last week. And I do, you know, say what you want about, you know, analytical head coaches, really aggressive head coaches. Not every analytics move or aggressive move works. And I really think it backfired because you had to know the stakes of the football game when you're playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. When you get down in field goal range early, you know, you want to put this Jacksonville team behind on the scoreboard. Three to nothing goes a long way. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you're going to give a team that's basically dead life when they stop you on fourth and goal. You saw what you're getting out of the quarterback. You had to know Frank Reich saying, look, a little bit of points are going to win this football game. And you stone yourself a couple times when taking the field goal where they Hall of Fame kicker is easy money. Just take the points, especially on the road in the division. But getting back to this football game, it is going to be interesting. And, and uh, look, looking at it, I talked to a, a couple shows there with the big man on campus going over what Houston has to do. If the Philadelphia Eagles lose this upcoming week to the Dallas Cowboys and then lose to the Los Angeles Rams, who's to say that the Houston Texans are going to lose their first three games of the year, Jimmy, and go win 13 straight games heading into the playoffs? They can do it. This schedule matches up very well for them as long as the Eagles have nothing to play for in that Week 16 matchup. This game alone, what's not to like, though, Jimmy, when you look at the Houston Texans? Look at the last five games. Pasted Miami at home, went to Denver in a tough environment, pulled out a victory, went to the Washington Redskins on the road and won. Then you come back home with an easy victory over Tennessee, easy victory over Cleveland. What's the common setup here? Houston Texans playing really good football at home. If you're looking at five, five and a half, I know Andrew Luck's been great this year and they're protecting him really well, but you're going to get another staunch defensive effort from the Houston Texans and they're at home playing good ball. I don't know if I want to go against that so far. Early in the week, Jimmy, I'm leaning toward the Houston Texans because I don't want to play with fire. They play really well. They're on a huge win streak, and they're dominating at home. It's a nice breakdown. David Stewart says, why are we not talking about Texans defense? Yes, their offense is great, but their D is great. Their D has been stepping up. And Sean Mick giving you a shout-out, saying, Donnie, you were so on point with the rookie quarterback heading into Texas. Donnie, I've been getting the opportunity to cap with you in the NFL season, so, NFL season so far and watching how you handle things and taking notes and, and the way you follow simple rules to a T like a rookie quarterback on the road or, or always taking figuring out a way to take the home team on Thursday nights. I, I noticed that there's similarities to what I do at my best sports in NHL. And I love, I love the opportunity to watch how you're handling things here. Do you agree with this move towards the under that the market's been making? 
Um, you know what? I, I actually don't agree with the move, to be honest with you, because when I look at what Houston can do on offense versus the Indianapolis defense, I like the matchup there because I think there's some spots that you can abuse the Indianapolis defense. And when you look on the opposite side, Frank Reich is always going to be aggressive. And a lot of times in the NFL, it's built for offense. It's built for the offenses that are tending to be aggressive. I think Andrew Luck can bounce back. He's going to be under a lot of pressure in this game, which sometimes, Jimmy, is a really good thing for the total because it forces throws. Maybe a big play is there that he makes. Maybe a play where he doesn't see the defensive back, and you might run off with a pick six out there. In a dome, really good conditions. And I like the fact that Indianapolis got shut out last week against a really good defense, maybe hone their skills. I can see this game going over the total. Interesting. Interesting breakdown. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now, we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.